some years ago, a figure arose. He stood for all that is good and right, but through misfortune, he has been taken away from us. His name is Roland Jenkins, and this is his story. Roland Jenkins is over 100 years old. Um, when I was younger, I used to go into my grandmother's basement, my nana, and I would go downstairs into the basement, and in the basement, um, hanging in the corner, would be the coconut head Roland Jenkins, uh, and he was terrifying as a kid. The wind would blow just right, and Roland's head would kind of turn to watch you as you walked up or down the stairs. And years later, Roland Jenkins was still hanging there in her new house, um, and I saw him there, and I said, Nana, can I have Roland Jenkins? She said, absolutely, you can take Roland Jenkins with you. And I asked Roland if he wanted to come. And Roland said, yes, I'd love to get out of the house for a little while. Um, so buckled Roland into the car and headed back home. Roland uh, started to share my house with me and my new wife, Beth, at the time. And Beth was terrified of Roland um, and asked that Roland be taken away from the house. And so Roland came with me to school and uh, was living in room 505 until he disappeared. I miss him terribly. Uh, I miss him in my life. I miss speaking to him. I miss uh, his wise guidance and his wisdom uh, that helped me through so many situations. But, uh, you know, I always stop and think, you know, what would Roland do right here? What would he say to me? And what wisdom would he impart that would help me through? My thoughts on Roland Jenkins' disappearance are, I'm very confused. I really don't know the true story, and I would like to know the true story. I hear all these different stories and these different rumors, and I just don't know what to believe. I find some evidence to support one theory, then I hear and I find evidence support to support another theory, and I really don't know. It's just this, this missing piece in my life. It's like a huge jigsaw puzzle that's laid out on the table, but there's this one big piece missing, and that piece is what actually happened to Roland Jenkins. And I really wish I could find that missing piece so I could complete my puzzle. So this guy, Brian Devin, he seems like a cool guy. I gave him as a freshman advisor for my lunch period, period four. Got a couple friends in the class, you know, three weeks into the advisory, and next thing you know, he's telling us about some coconut. And, you know, it was cool coconut over 100 years old from his grandma's house. I mean, I guess, like antiques. But, uh, you know, the next day he comes in, slams his hands down on the desk, gets right in my face, says, where's Roland Jenkins? And I go, Dev, I don't know what you're talking about, right? And, uh... That was about three years ago, three or four years ago to this day. And he still questions me, what is Roland? I simply reply, I don't got him deaf. And I, ever since, I get harassed in the hallways by this, this strange man with a beard. And he teaches English and every day he just throws literature at me like, I'm the suspect for stealing his precious coconut. Well, you know what, I didn't steal your coconut. Someone else did. There were 12 other people in the advisory, and why am I the only one sticking out? I don't know why I'm the only one sticking out. But I am sure as hell know it was not me. I remember Roland as the, the strong, silent type. He didn't say much. You always knew he was there. You, you felt his presence in all that he did. Um, you know, when, uh, when he left us, I, I understood. I understood, uh, you know, living under the thumb of uh, Mr. Devaney for all those years. Uh, must have been difficult for him, and I'm, I'm glad that uh, he finally found his own voice and his own bliss, and, and he followed it. Uh, I'm, I'm happy for him for that.
Yats eshe e terry teller yenishia. In the Sadebri worried that she jinne. Do you two de sinigi a beat do and das kirigi sa a con anish e. Ta de nenish leader de nebezad be yeshtie. Adin da kaigi do a yo de nebezad bispeta hosinda. Do be yadil tie go nihiza de ba hudiotna. Nal kirigi, you two be gichinish ego. Nihizat a han sogoda. Be a cut dash was boho at open ye. Nihizat eight eye si bahast ye, do and his ad be nihe hot olzen. Do ba hodio natan sen. At first, Roland and I <clears throat> didn't get along well. Like I said, I was scared of him when I was younger in my um, Nana's basement. But since he came to live with me, we really bonded. Um, he became an integral part of my lectures. He was a great proponent of um, classroom activities. Um, he was just a nice guy all around. Great teaching partner. He was really a good, um, good to connect with with uh, Silvera in class too. Um, when I used to share a room with Roland Jenkins, it was um, just amazing. He was the best partner I ever had and, you know, he was very intelligent and he was fun and energetic and he knew how to get the kids involved and he could participate with us and just take it to another level. And ever since his disappearance, school and, and teaching just hasn't been the same. I feel like I've been in a funk and I've had a very difficult time processing it. I've had to seek out uh, help. I've been to several uh, doctors, and I'm in therapy right now. And it, I just—it it, it was just a golden age in my in my life and in my teaching career. Roland, you changed my life. I don't know where I would be without you, and I miss you, and I hope you're well. But more importantly, I hope you're happy. I miss you, I love you, I always have, and I always will. I just wish you the best, um, I miss you, and evidence is pointing to your death. I, I don't believe you're still alive. Um, if you were still alive, if you are still alive, I just ask come home. I miss you, the whole family misses you. Thank you, thank you for everything that you gave to me. Thank you for, I hope, uh, you know, letting Mr. Devney know that uh, he had to change his ways and, and live his life a little differently, and I hope that he's learned that lesson. Uh, but for you, I wish nothing but the best, and uh, I hope that uh, someday I can, I can live my life uh, like Roland. That's really, that's really what it comes down to, I guess. have any information regarding the whereabouts of Roland Jenkins, we ask that you please contact unanswered questions. Roland has touched the hearts, warmed the souls, and changed the lives of many. His wisdom, guidance, and love are beyond our human understanding. He is an inspiration a mentor, and a friend to all of us. No amount of time, space, or distance could revoke what he has instilled in us. So may we continue the search. May we not lose hope. And may we answer the unanswered question of where is Roland Jenkins?